just buckle down, fight hard, and go for it. Not only am I receiving my GED today, but on May 27th, I just graduated from college with a two-year degree of Honor Society. In our community, there are many parents who have not been in school for 14 and 15 years, like me, for instance. My daughter is in kindergarten, and when she gets older, if I don't use great opportunities like family literacy, how can I help her? We need programs like this in our urban neighborhoods so we can advance our minds and help our children shine. Programs like adult education are beneficial and it can give a person hope to create and build and inspire. Education has changed, so we need to re-educate ourselves for our children's sake. I'm coming from Brookfield, and I'm asking you not to um, remove the program that teach English to the parents because that helped me to help my son uh, with his homework. Thank you. Can we get the name, please? Um, Sarah Martinez. Thank you. Sara Martinez. Okay. Every day asking for English classes, there are none. The only classes that I know about are inside the public schools, and there were 16 this year. There will be possibly eight next year. This is an attack on our community. I don't know who wants to attack our community. I'm not paranoid. But this will absolutely affect and really hurt families in our community. If the kids go to school, that's great. Of course the kids must go to school. The parents must speak English. They can't help their kids. They can't get better jobs. They can't survive in this economy. They can't defend themselves. I've been forced to teach GED this year in Spanish, and I did. I did as well as I could. 70 people will have their high school diplomas on June 10th. That's beautiful. That's fantastic. 70 people who will not have their diplomas next year if they cancel the GED program. And also, I taught GED in Spanish. If I am laid off, there is nobody who will teach GED in Spanish. So I spent an entire hour yesterday calling every single adult school and every single program around here. Guess what? Nobody has GED in Spanish. Nobody has it. The Bay Area around here, there will be nothing. That means that students who this year managed to somehow figure it out won't have a chance next year. I don't understand the priorities of the people with the strategic plan. It is not strategic to attack and destroy a community. There is a need for ESL. The need has always been there. It has not changed. You can't pretend that just Catholic charities and a few nonprofits will take over a program that served 25,000 people. They can't. How many families don't have elder care now? Don't have somebody helping out with their developmentally disabled adult children? Mm -hmm. You know, can't right. get GED, can't get basic high school skills, diploma. high school diploma. I mean, it's awful. It's really awful. You need that to get anywhere in life, you know? You need to get, you need your high school diploma to even get a rec, like a, job at Burger King or McDonald's, you have to have your high school diploma. And yeah. how is it helpful here at Ch Edward Shands? What were they doing for you guys? Well, they were like giving you one-on-one one -on -one, like time or whatever and helping people out really that, that really needs it. <laughs> so anyway, but we are on a, I won't say long, I'm frantically packing. Okay. So. Just wanted to say hi. I seen y'all. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. We hope that we will have a program in the future. You know. Yeah. Not I giving up on that. Still them. here. Like it was so close. And everything. Yeah. It's just so insane. they didn't know anything about where we were this year. Of course not. So. <laughs> Do they still need units? Like I said, every time we oh, come my. here, people show up in the parking lot that. wanting to know. Every every wow. time we come, every day, people come in. We've been such a presence knocking in this on community. the community. Yeah. So today, I was wondering, well, who will show up today? And then it's Maybe. somebody I knew. <laughs> yeah. Well, you might consider a GED. Yeah. Yeah. You know. That's what I've been considering. Yeah. And because that will move you into community college and. And, that and that's where I need to be. And that's where you need to go. Really, a community college? Yeah, well, it's just like a high school GED. diploma. Uh -huh. You can start in community college and start. It's the place where you took classes. 
it, it represented hope in the community, stability, organization. They could depend on us being here. They mm -hmm. could depend on the school, yeah. the teachers, and what they what they got. And so the structure itself, mm -hmm. in addition to what went on inside, um, is important in East Oakland, and this is lost. It's a huge, it's just lost for this community, for East Oakland, to have this place shut down. Mm -hmm. Value that we were a valid pathway into jobs and community colleges, and you know, things were changing. There's a huge focus in the state and nationally on improving instruction in ABE and adult education generally. It, it's of course late and coming in the time of the deep recession, so... So now is when we need it. That now is when we need it, and now is when there isn't the money to fund it. not going to happen anymore. Mm -hmm. So that 40% dropout rate, watch out. It's going to go up to 50%. You can't do this without support. I don't care what you do with about the money. In fact, if you need some grant writers, hire them. What do you need all these assistant principals for? What do they do? Let them write grants. We can't just play like this where we pretend that it's improving and it's better and it's fuller and it's more service when it's less. Let's not lie. This is not some kind of a bad English lesson. I was an adult ed teacher for 20 years. I am really sorry that I got laid off. <laughs>